book before me. I support this bill. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Speaker. I call Mark Patterson. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, it is a pleasure to rise on behalf of New Zealand First to, uh, to re reiterate our support for this ACC uh, amendment bill. And for those that may be uh, listening in or, or uh, just flicking through Sky Sport on the way through to the test match in Pakistan, AC ACC does, uh, just for clarity, does refer to the Accident Compensation uh, Corporation, not the Alternative Commentary Collective. Um, of course, it is a, a, an absolute uh, gem, as has been uh, mentioned. It's world-leading legislation, this. Uh, 1974, I think the uh, third Labor government brought this in. Uh, it's uh, very much part of our uh, legislative process and, and our, uh, our culture, really, is, and, and how we do business and look after uh, those that have um, had accidents or, uh, or, or indeed, death. Um, one in three Kiwis actually made a claim on ACC in the 2016-17 financial year, so it's uh, something that we, we utilise a great deal, and of course it takes much of the contention out of that. Um, and of, of course we know that it's actually been really well managed as well. We've got something like $30 billion in assets that uh, back, uh, or nearly 40 is it coming up, yes, it, it could well be, there's uh, a, a massive uh, fund there that's built up uh, and is being well uh, stewarded. Um, so this has been referred before as a, uh, a piece of legislation that has uh, originated, I think, from the Dean Report, the Marion Dean Report, uh, and it was uh, picked up by uh, the Honourable Michael Woodhouse, as was earlier on before, uh, mentioned earlier on before, and is now uh, under the guidance of Enlees Galloway, and uh, we commend all the work that has been done uh, across both governments to get this where it is. Also, uh, of course, within the select committee process, the officials that helped us uh, work through uh, what can be reasonably dry stuff, but uh, they, they did it well. Uh, the um, submitters, uh, as has been mentioned, uh, many of them were out of scope. They, they saw it as a chance. It's a bit like uh, Paul Weagle referring to the Crown Minerals uh, Bill before, as soon as it was lighting people's eyes up when they saw Crown Minerals uh, and, and only to find it was a, a narrow bill. Well, this is, is very similar. So a lot of those submitters came in to have their say on the ACC, uh, but uh, was outside the narrow scope of what this bill uh, seeks to uh, address. But I would like to, uh, to single out one submission, the submission of Warren Forster and Tom Barraclough. I think one is... Uh, a lawyer and one an academic uh, down in Dunedin uh, who put an, an absolutely comprehensive submission in front of us. They're absolute experts in this field and I think it's great that we've got Kiwis that come forward uh, with a real interest in, in legislation to help the legislative, uh, legislative process. Um, so of course this amends the Accident Compensation Act of 2001. Uh, we've heard many of the provisions before. I won't labour them too much. I think the one about the overseas uh, allowing uh, New Zealand employees or employees of New Zealand companies overseas uh, to have access to the ACC and, and also the government, of course. We've got uh, many of our uh, people offshore the, um, and, of course, now under the Pacific Reset and this uh, much bolder uh, foreign policy, uh, we've got more diplomats out there um, as well and, and we're boosting our, uh, our trade delegations overseas. So. Uh, this will be very welcome for them uh, as well, because I would imagine healthcare is very, uh, very expensive over there in many of these jurisdictions. Uh, it removes the requirement for claimants to choose between ACC and superannuation. Uh, they can have both for a period um, after 12 months, as it is now. Uh, there is, of course, uh, th just on that provision, where uh, coming up to retirement age, it does allow for. Um, two years uh, after the age of uh, retirement, after the retirement age, to continue to claim both the ACC uh, and the super that allows for a just transition, I think, as Tim McIndoe pointed out in his contribution. Uh, that's pretty fair. We can't just have it open ended. Uh, but uh, two years, I think, the committee felt was a pretty fair, um, uh, you know, we've landed in a pretty fair place. Uh, also disestablishes the, uh, I was interested in this, disestablishes the ACC Appeals Authority uh, for 19, 
1972 to 1982 claims. Uh, there is a lot of people suggesting that we should be going back to that system where there is actually, you don't have to go to the High Court, that there is, or the District Court, sorry, there is uh, provision for us to uh, have our own appeals authority and just streamline that. And I think as members of Parliament, uh, one of the uh, significant roles that, that we do take on is, uh, is ACC stuff, so members of Parliament will be interested uh, in this as well. So I won't uh, labour the points. I think they've been well made. Uh, it is a nice, tidy up piece of legislation, and New Zealand First is uh, very pleased to continue supporting it. Thank, Thank you, you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair. I call Simeon Brown. Thank you, Madam Chair, for the opportunity to take a short call on the